Hey guys, it's Thea Beltra and welcome back to my channel and today's video is called Feminism is Demonic Why would someone make a statement as extreme as Feminism is Demonic? Well, because I believe that statement to be accurate For centuries, we have been taught immaculate ideologies that are biblical Sure, you can critique them and try to counter-argue a lot of what is in the Bible but at the end of the day, most of the ideologies and the lessons and the parables and the assertions that come within the gospel are sound. Things like love your neighbor like you should love yourself. Things like love your enemies. That's a very difficult thing to do. But it's only doable through Christ. Things like respect and obey your mother and father. This is all biblical. These are all sound wisdoms that had their origins in Christianity. But it seems now, in the world we live in today, in the society that we have today, we have replaced God and Christianity and the perfection of that ideology and substituted it with a flawed and regressive ideology that, t that tells our women that our men should all be dead or that we should have hatred for the cisgendered, straight, white Christian male. Why? because of the oppression of the patriarchy, women are the ones succeeding today. Women are the ones doing better in education. Women are the ones earning uh, more money. Feminists, what are you fighting about? Why aren't you fighting for the women in the Middle East? I also don't want to confuse the first wave and second wave of feminists with whatever the hell feminism is today. There are many great women who attach themselves, unfortunately, to the label of feminism uh, people like Christina Hoff Summers, people like uh, someone who I've interviewed myself, Antonia Okafor, and uh, the wife of uh, Raymond in Everybody Loves Raymond, Patricia Heaton. She happens to be a Catholic, she's pro-life, and she happens to attach herself to the label of feminist. So it's not that I hate all feminists, but I certainly hate the current uh, doctrine of feminism. What and how is feminism manifested today? I'll tell you. One way is by informing women or by educating women or by, you know, advocating that women, you know, you don't need a man to make you happy. You don't need a man. You complete you. You do you. Do you know what? That's a good philosophy and I can actually get on board with that. I really can. I actually believe that that is true. You need to love yourself, find yourself and respect yourself and uh, have all of these elements checked off before you have someone that um, is an additional bonus in your life. That's all well and good. But that message then becomes attached to promiscuity and um, exploring your sexuality. And I don't understand how women who allow themselves to have, say, more than four, five, or six sexual partners in a lifetime, I don't understand how that is any good for their mental health, for their emotional health, for their uh, soul, and for their body parts. I don't see how or why that would be deemed as a positive because in actuality women today are more depressed. Women in the last 30 years have become far more depressed. Check the studies out. I will link them in the description box below. Another way the media propagates feminism to the consumer, the people listening to this false message is that, you know, you should be proud to kill your babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up until the ninth month, it's okay. Um, I have got a lot of family here, some of whom are here in the audience tonight. Um, I also had my first abortion at the Seattle Planned Parenthood. Yay! Notice I said first. I said first, and I don't want Seattle, I don't want you guys to feel insecure. It was my best one. <laughs> if I could Yelp review it, I totally would. You know, New York, and he, even here in my country of Australia, in this state of Victoria, you can have your baby aborted up into the ninth month if both doctors agree, and it's okay. It's female empowerment. Never mind that the baby might also be a little girl. 
Never mind that the baby has its own DNA and, you know, is a completely separate being from the mother. Never mind any of that. It's your body and you have a right to choose. So let's kill our babies to the ninth month because that is part of feminism. Demonic. Women who end up alone don't have a family to love them back. I'm not saying that they don't have a mother or a father or brothers and sisters. Of course, that's... You know, I'm sure that's very fulfilling in its own right. But to focus solely on your career, of course there's an exception to every rule. I'm sure there's, a, there are ser I'm sure there's many women out there who are completely uh, satisfied in their soul, in their heart, in everything that they do, and they don't have a husband, and they don't have uh, any of that, and they don't want kids. Good for you. Feminism is about choice. It should be anyway. If that is your choice and you truly believe that you are happy, whether it be on a superficial level or, or a genuine level, I'm really happy for you and I actually think that's really positive. However, many women come to regret their life. They wanted the husband, they just didn't know it. They wanted b babies and children, but you know, they chose to abort them. It's a sad state of affairs because the media is religion. It's telling us what we need to believe. And feminism is its own religion. It really is. It's become its own religion. And people follow it. And if you decide to slightly have a different opinion, and um, you have a variant on the original, the original thing that they say, you'll be cast out. And also, for those of you who are women who claim to be feminists, and you have a husband, and you, um, oh, you know, you've, you're, what, you have a husband, and you've taken his name, and you're feminine, and you're pretty, and uh, you've enjoyed your career, but you know, you're more looking forward to being a homemaker, and you want to be a mom, and it's your life dream to be a mom, and you think you're a feminist because you like to use the ne the, the label of feminist. Guess what? The feminists that I'm talking about that think it's okay to kill a baby at the ninth month, the feminists that I'm talking about that shave their heads and look disgusting. They don't accept you, okay? So you can try and claim that you're a feminist, but they won't accept you. You are not part of that faction of feminism. So many of you can roll your eyes at me and be like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Research it before you comment, please, because um, I've been around this long enough to know that you're the one who is ignorant, not me. Okay? Face it. Adhering to traditional gender roles is what makes women happier. The studies prove it. Take a look. The study reported that data from the National Survey of Families and Households showed that couples with more traditional housework arrangements had sex more frequently, suggesting that adhering to traditional gender roles exerts a stronger influence over individual behaviours, including sexual frequency than marital exchange for sex between heterosexual married partners. Feminism is the biggest disease to take over our younger generation. And you may wonder, why is she so focused on outward appearances? It shouldn't matter what someone looks like, you know, just love everyone who has how they are. Sure, that's all well and good. But there is something about uh, self-respect. There is something about presenting, a, you know, a nice feminine image and um, having, you know, a sense of, of pride in your appearance. That's okay. That's okay to do. But when... When you've started off one way, and the reason you've completely changed is due to being uh, corrupted and due to being indoctrinated into this false ideology of feminism that teaches women that they are victims rather than victors. You know, I'd rather be a victor than a victim. I'd rather be a winner than a loser. Feminism teaches women that they are weak and that they need everyone else to do what they are saying or they cannot function. Is that really feminism? Really? Because I'm not a victim and I feel like I can succeed on my own and I don't need society to help me. I can figure things out. I'm okay. Society needs to change, of course. But feminism is dead. It's not needed anymore, guys. It really isn't. It's needed in the Middle East. But why is it needed here in Australia? Why is it needed in the USA? I don't get that. Why is it needed in Canada? Feminism, simply put, is a demonic ideology. Any ideology 
that teaches women that their rights should be elevated above men's rights or above men in general because you know apparently men oppress women that is false that killing your baby up until the ninth month that's fine it's your reproductive right to do so maybe you should have stuck a cork in it and kept your legs closed women are being left barren and desolate because they wait so long to have a baby and sometimes it becomes too late anyway guys thanks for watching this video Remember to click the bell if you want to be reminded of the next videos that come up. Uh, stay tuned for a future video or live stream. Give the video a thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm not fussed either way. And um, I'll see you at the next video. Thanks, guys.